This is uh, Algiers, New Orleans. This is an apartment complex called the Gall Manor. Uh, it's been abandoned for like eight years and it's just been sitting here in a state of pause. On November 15th, um, we opened our doors as an art exhibit called Exhibit B. Uh, myself and like 30 other artists came together and, and using spray cans and paint brushes and, and whatever creativity we had, we, we tried to transform this space. And these are artists that you know, the galleries, the museums, you know, they didn't really know what to do with us. We didn't really fit in in any of these other environments. But um, in this space, we all came together and, and, and this was like, this was our gallery, this was our museum. We were able to create the way we wanted to create. You know, you could take pictures of graffiti, you could take pictures of street art and put them in a gallery, but it immediately loses its context. So this was an opportunity for us to really let people come to our world and see, okay, this is what it's like when we paint in these environments, when we paint in these spaces. Local heroes like Malik Rahim, who was an elder who lives in this community, who tried to take over this space and make it back into a community. We painted him on the wall. You know, we were celebrating our heroes, celebrating this space. This, this era right here we call the top of the world. One of the elders who lived back here told me this is what they used to call it. We stand on the shoulders of giants, so this whole area represents that. When you see an apartment complex like this, like I said, it has 360 units that's empty. That tells you that those are individuals that couldn't come back. The popular thought is that, oh, well, they found housing elsewhere or they moved in some other part of the city. But the truth of the matter is, most cases, that these individuals couldn't come back. They couldn't afford to come back. There was a congressperson that said, we couldn't get rid of public housing, but God did it for us. People saw Katrina as a way to like really reboot and build from scratch but not including the least amongst us, you know what I mean? As far as my work in here, in this room, is really about like uplifting the narratives of our heroes, you know, and, and letting people know that even from struggle comes beauty, because what connects all of these individuals painted on these walls was this idea of selflessness, this idea that they had to struggle to, to do something for others. Whether you're talking about Malcolm, whether you're talking about Martin, whether you're talking about Harriet, you're talking about individuals who sacrifice for others and mostly individuals who came from environments like this. We're super conscious of the fact that we don't want this to remain an art project, you know what I mean? We know this is better served as housing, and that's what it should be. Um, so the ball is really in the owner's, the developer's court now. I think throughout this project, we focused the attention on them. Like, we, we made sure the community connected with them so they can be held accountable. We hope we were able to push them and sway them in the right direction, but we know at the end of the day, capitalism is a, is a mother sucker and uh, profit over people seems to be the motto. My name is Brandon B. Mike Odoms, and I just joined Revolt Nation. Yeah.